What's up guys, Swordsman here, and today I'm going to be introducing you to my new love affair called Loadout. Loadout is a free-to-play game, it is available on Steam, I think it was about 2 gigabytes worth of a download. It is a pretty fun game, it is a third-person shooter, but it's more like an arena-style shooter, sort of like Quake slash Unreal type of feel to it, a little bit of a T Team Fortress 2 vibe going along, and... I got into it the other night, uh, uh, about a week ago, maybe a little bit more now. Lazy Boy Marksman, my good friend, my buddy, he asked a, he asked Eight Bit and I if we've played if we've seen Loadout, and I had no idea what he was talking about. Uh, he sent me a trailer. I told him it looked pretty cool, but that was about all I really thought about it. Uh, he, he said it was coming soon or was about to be released. I, I just didn't really put much thought into it. Then one night I saw it on the front page of Steam, I gave it to download, I told 8-Bit and Atheo that I did, and before long we were playing. I played about three hours and from there I was hooked. Loadout is a game that is all about customizing your weapon. There is thousands and thousands of combinations that you can do with weapons. I have my primary weapon out that is sort of like an assault rifle that I have set up. It's pretty basic because this was... I'm not super far into things that I've unlocked. My secondary weapon is a healing beam similar to the Team Fortress 2 Medic. I have invested most of my points into my healing beam. I also late last night bought some rocket boots which are pretty cool and... You just go about designing weapons and you can you can formulate what barrels they have, what stocks they have, what type of ammunition. Uh, you can send your bullets flying in weird like like horizontal patterns. It's just it's just nuts. It's got a, a variety of weapon types that you can you can work on and you can always have two weapons and uh, the weapon customization is just phenomenal. It's very fun. As you play the game, you unlock these things called Blutes, which are pieces of Blutonium. Uh, you unlock the weapon mods with those, and you build your weapons with things that you earn in the game itself by playing the game, by, by getting scores, by by playing the effing objective. You, you earn your, your gun currency by playing the game. There are microtransactions. And for typically free-to-play games, I, I'm a little leery of. I, I normally do not like them. I, I just I just shy away from them because to me, whether it's fair or unfair, when I hear free-to-play, I hear a game that they don't consider good enough to sell. That's just my bias. That's how I treat these things until I'm proven other otherwise. And after a few hours playing Loadout, I knew that was not at all correct for Loadout. They could charge for this game, and I would happily play it. And that is basically what I did, because whenever I, I encounter a game that's free to play, if I like it, I will usually buy what they have as a starter pack, or I'll buy a little bit of their, their real money currency to buy for customization stuff, and that's what I did. I, I bought a $25 starter pack. It came with seven days of XP boosts and some cash, or not cash bucks, uh, plutonium boosts and some currency and stuff, and I outfitted my guy had to go with the leather chaps and the bondage harness. You just you just got to do it. If it had a gimp suit, I probably would have got that, or maybe a ball gag hood or, or mask or something like my Payday 2 character. You guys remember the Payday, Payday 2 terrifying character. But yeah, I mean, there is nothing that you can buy with money that affects your in-game performance. Nothing. Uh, there, like, there, there's just there's absolutely nothing. It, you you cannot buy weapon parts. You cannot buy weapons themselves. These are things like graphical attachments, like to your character, like like the, uh, the the chaps. Oh, the chaps! Oh, many many people have nightmares about my character right now. I assure you. Like nothing, it's not pay to win. It it is pay to customize, and I am completely fine with that. That is the absolute way I like to do it. Far too often, you'll see these games that have little pay to win elements, and I I, I cannot help but feel that. That the pay-to-win model is the worst when it comes to a shooter. It's just absolutely dreadful. But it loadout does not suffer from this. One criticism I have, though, for their microtransactions, is I think some of those customization things are a little overpriced for what you're paying for. And like, I mean, it's just some of them are pretty expensive. Now, I spent. My my, I think I, I think it was uh, twenty thousand of their space bucks is what I got roughly. I think I got like tw 
I, I, roughly I spent 20,000 on this outfit. But my guy looks exactly how I wanted to look. I didn't care about unlocking any more weapon slots or, or loadout slots because you unlock them by leveling up. So I dropped 20 grand of space bucks onto that, which I got in part of the $25 package. So like, it's a little steep. I think I would compare it to like League of Legends skin pricing, which is what I'm familiar with. Like a, a full skin for somebody costs roughly seven dollars for the average one up to ten sometimes fifteen i think for the legendaries i'm not completely sure on that part so like the the, the the microtransaction system works for me i do think some of them could use some slight toning down in the price that they cost for some of those graphical add-ons but otherwise it's like they're all like like side things like nothing is required like you can go with the standard model and be just fine it's just it's all about your weapon. The weapon combinations are very fun as you as you discover which one you like to do. I love my healing beam. Uh, healing seems to be underrated as best I can tell right now, but it really turns the tide of a battle if you've got somebody in there helping heal, especially when you have like a slayer on your team, like a Thale, Bye. and uh, you know how capable he is at killing people when you heal him. It, it just goes very, very well. I have enjoyed this greatly. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It has three different characters you can choose from. I believe in a developer live stream, I said they were planning to add more character models that you can that you can be able to play. Uh, one of them was, was added recently, so it might be a little while before the next one, but it is what I, I believe they said it was planned. So if they can keep the, the, the maps coming, like some fresh maps, maybe some changing up some game modes. It does have like a casual mode and it looks to have like a ranked mode as well coming. Well, I think the rank mode's in, I just haven't done it yet. It, it, it's pretty good. It, it it has a game mode that I love. This game mode that you've been watching throughout this video is similar to Call of Duty's Kill Confirmed. I don't know if Call of Duty was the first game to have a game mode like Kill Confirmed. I don't know. It's the first time I was exposed to it. It, qu it quickly became my favorite FPS game mode. Loadout has it. Loadout's fast-paced. It rewards your mobility. And it has a great game mode that I love, along with some other ones like CTF, so... Try it, guys. It is completely free. I think you will like it. And let me know what you think. Take care.